So we're going to have to have, as you do every year, people step up, um, people that we may not be expecting to jump into impact roles may have to do that. So that's kind of the fun part of the early part of the season to see who has an opportunity to do that. We've had an opportunity to uh, be outside scrimmage some, so we've got a pretty good sense uh, because we've been at game speed as to where guys are right now. So uh, we'll have some young guys who'll need to help and then some guys who maybe haven't contributed a lot in the past will have an opportunity to do so. I find this year we've had probably one of our best chemistries as a unit so far and our freshmen are great. They've really improved since they got here in the fall. They got stronger, they got better, really got a better feel for the game. Even though we lost those guys last year, I feel like we're more, we have more depth this year. So they're really filling in the spots that we lost last year. And I think we're really gonna make for a good year. For a lot of us, we, uh, we made it so close to reaching our goal and winning the A-10 that it kind of drove us in the off season, drove us all fall, headed up to this point. So I think we're all really excited about it. And we kind of know what it takes to get to the top. We just gotta kind of get over that hurdle. So it's been a good atmosphere. The A-10 is a very good league this year. Our piece of that schedule is very good. We've got, I believe, three teams from the A-10 have gotten preseason top 25 votes. There are some high profile individual players within the league. So there aren't gonna be any days where we can rest. We're gonna have to come out and lock in. Uh, whether that's a Georgetown or any of our midweek opponents and certainly when the A-10 kicks in.